Hi, we're just under a thousand feet and you join me back on the North York Moors and we're heading back to the nuclear bunker. This weekend we're going to put on a contest station for the ARRL HF SSB contest and uh, we're going to try and contact the States and Canada from the nuclear bunker. So see how we get on. Now at this point, if you're thinking, what's he on about a nuclear bunker? Well, you need to watch the preceding video, which I'll put the link to above and then come back and watch this video. It'll all make sense. Couldn't you get anything bigger, Mark? Not one that fits in the car. Well, I'm just spinning it around now. Apologies to the wind, I haven't got the right microphone. So it's probably worth explaining at this point, we only decided to enter the contest a week earlier and it was literally within the last day or so we realised that a multi-operator entry couldn't be a single band entry, we had to be a multi-band entry as well. So as well as the main 20 metre beam, which was our original plan, we also took along a, a DX commander to give us multi-band capability. Obviously our hopes were pinned on the, the big beam doing its thing. We also realised the rotator cable wasn't long enough so we, we couldn't turn the rotator so we, we left it pointing to America and Canada. And as the higher bands opened, you can imagine the, the prevalence of smaller beams became more common. So we were a little bit outgunned uh, on the on the higher bands, but uh, we, put, we put in a good effort. Roger, Roger, 5-9-100. Bye. <laughs> So up to Saturday tea time, we were a two-man station. Uh, we were getting a bit concerned because we would have to pack up and then re rebuild the station the following day because we weren't stopping overnight, or that wasn't the plan. Uh, fortunately, Liam M7LCB and Gary M7GAX came along. Uh, and we had a chat with them, and they, they held the fort with us uh, until Matt M0ZMS came along. Matt, being a full license holder, uh, could take over the station on his own. And thanks to Matt for running the station into the wee small hours uh, till uh, till Matt could get back and take over. So thanks for that, Matt. 
so here we are day day two it's a bit chilly one degree uh, let's see how we get on today so i'm going to measure the vertical for 10 inches green wire just a temporary wire apologies if that's out of focus i suspect it is um, and then we're going to make out of those two garden canes uh, a reflector and a director to point to america which is that way, just to the right of that farm, uh, just to give us a bit more oomph, hopefully. We'll see anyway. So, what we've done here is create a, a three element vertical gargi for 10 meters. Uh, we've got a director, driven element, reflector. Um, and what you do, roughly, that length needs to be 5% longer than the driven element and the director needs to be 5% shorter than the driven element so you get your measurement uh, and basically add on 5% take off 5% and then the spacing is a quarter of a wavelength so uh, 300 divided by the frequency of megahertz uh, is the wavelength in meters and then this is a quarter they're all in line and pointing to America which again is just to the right of that farm Mike X-Ray Zero November Yankee Mike no. Come back to it. Zero, November, Yankee Mike. Roger, Roger, 59100. Roger, Roger, 59100, 73. Well, although it was a 48 hour contest, we, we packed up at Sunday tea time and we cleared all our gear away and left the site as if no one had been there. So here you can see some stats from the weekend, 231 QSOs in total. We put in about 23 hours over the 48 hours, uh, mainly America uh, and some Canadian provinces as well. And you can see clearly 20 metres with the main beam was our, our strongest band. And as you might expect with, with uniform conditions throughout the weekend, Saturday more QSOs, Sunday harder to find new people, and there's the states and provinces stats. Some QSO maps, these are all the bands and the markers represent the states and the provinces. This is uh, 40 meters. We only had a few QSOs in the middle of the night uh, on that band. Uh, 20 meters was our main, main band. It was alive in the morning until lunchtime. And then the other band started opening up. Here's 15. Uh, and as the day wore on, uh, the bands went higher. Uh, 10 metres and uh, we, we had a good time on 10 it was our second second strongest band well i hope you liked this video and if you did please like and subscribe and then hit the bell and then you'll be notified of new videos when they're released the channel is all about operating and simple practical projects 73